2.2 is control of raw materials. 2.2, control of raw materials. Control of raw materials. We are now looking at the control of raw materials. Control of raw materials. There is a table given there. There is, it's like this. It's got four columns. And here we are told the first one is the internal control. This is internal control. And here is calculation. Calculate the meters of fabric internal control. We want to calculate the meters of fabric missing in the storeroom, and we also want to calculate the meters of fabric wasted in the factory. Missing in the storeroom. We want to calculate the meters of fabric missing in the storeroom and the meters of fabric wasted in the factory. And we want to also provide the internal control strategy. So 2.2 question paper. After completing the statement in question 2.1, the internal auditor of Prudy manufacturer suspects that the raw material of fabric is not being well controlled is not being controlled well in the storeroom and the factory calculate the meters of fabric missing from the storeroom let's start with that calculation of the meters of fabric missing from the storeroom and we do have information here here there which is giving us the meters and the total amount so we want to calculate the meters so our focus in the question paper will be on the meters so let's look at the meters we we're having at the beginning which is the first of march 2020 the opening number of meters was 2700 first march 2020 purchase of fabric during the year we bought 10,800 meters right and we used the raw materials issued to factory we used that's minus 12,450 so if you can just take your calculator at this stage to calculate 2,700 opening number of meters plus 10,800 meters purchased minus 12,000 450 meters used we are supposed to be left with 1000 equals to 1050 we are supposed to be left with 1050 meters but according to the balance on 28 february 2021 we are told that we are only left with 850 minus 850 minus 850 equals to 1050 that we are supposed to be left with minus 850 left we can see that there is 200 there is 200 meters missing because at the beginning we had 2700 meters we bought 10,800 meters we use 12,400 meters 450 meters so we are supposed to be left with 1050 but according to the closing balance, we have only for 850. So where is 200? So there is 200 that is missing. And we also want to think of an internal control measure that must be, that must be implemented in order to deal with this. 
So what do we need to do here? Maybe we can talk of regular physical counts. So maybe we can think of regular physical counts of stock in the storeroom. Make sure that we use regular physical count of stock. We may think of improving security in the storeroom. We may also think of restricting entrance to the storeroom because we need to make sure that no, it's not just everyone who just enter the storeroom because that is why some of our meters are going missing. So there may be so many things, but we are only required to provide just one internal control strategy. So I, that the one provided is enough, which is just regular physical counts. But you may also mention other things like saying restrict uh, entrance to the storeroom. You may think of um, improving security and all that right the second task in the same question is to calculate now the meters wasted you can only be able to see that people are wasting if you know your story if you know your calculations now we know here additional information it says us that fabric is purchased at a fixed cost of 120 per meter and it takes 1.5 meters of fabric to make one travel bag. So we know that it takes 1.5 meters of fabric to make one travel bag. So 1.5 meters of fabric to make one travel bag. So how many travel bags we made? The number of units produced here in the last sentence is 7,800 bags. So if one bag is produced using 1.5 meters, so let's calculate the total number of meters that we're supposed to have used. So it's 1.5 multiplied by 7,800 bags produced. We'll be able to know the number of meters of fabric that should have been used. Each bag requires 1.5 meters of fabric and we produce 7,800 bags. 1.5 multiplied by 7,800 equals to 11,700. This business should have used 11,700 meters of fabric. 11,700 meters. But we are told that raw materials issued to factory, we have used a total of 12,450. So 12,450 minus 11,700 equals to. We used 12,450 meters instead of 11,700. So there is 750 wasted. 750 meters wasted. We have 750 meters wasted. We need 1.5 meters to do one bag. We have produced 7,800 bags. So it's 1.5 multiplied by 7,800 equals to 11,700 meters that should have been used. So now we have 12,450 that we used instead of 11,700. So it means we have 750 meters wasted. So why there is a waste? The internal control measure maybe we need to provide training to improve efficiency you need to provide training to improve efficiency you need to ensure that people who are using this media their cutting is good and we make sure that they are not wasting so it will be better for a business to provide training to the workers in order to ensure that uh, there is no wastage of material right we are then proceeding to 2.2.2 2.2.2 it says calculate the total cost of fabric lost and wasted how this loss should be shown in the statement mentioned in question 2.1 
So we want to calculate the total cost of fabric lost. Lost and wasted. Remember we have 200, that is 2.2.2, 2.2.2. We have 200 meters lost plus 750 meters wasted. So we have a total of 950. We've got 200 lost and 750 wasted. So there is a transaction in transaction B, additional information B, still on page 7, which tells us that fabric is purchased at a fixed cost price of 120 per meter. So if we have lost a total of 950 meters when each meter cost 120, we can then be able to provide the answer of the total amount lost. 200 meters um, went missing and 750 meters were wasted. That's a total of 950 and each meter cost 120. 950 multiplied by 120 that is 114,000. The business has lost a total of 114,000 rents. And how this 114,000 should be shown in the statement mentioned above, it should be shown as an expense. This should be shown as an expense. This should be shown as an expense, e.g. is loss due to theft and wastage. This should be shown as an expense, e.g. loss due to theft and wastage. That is 2.2. .2. Right. This question is divided into many sections. Now, we are now going to the last section, which is 2.3 from the same question. That's 2.3.